Generator importation to attract 10-year jail term, says Senate Bill. A bill for an act to criminalize the importation, selling, and usage of generators in Nigeria scaled the first reading on the floor of the Senate on Wednesday. The bill sponsored by Senator Birma Enagi from Niger State prescribes 10-year jail term for importers and sellers of generators. The bill is coming on the heels of energy crises bedveiling the nation as most parts of the country are currently experiencing erratic power supply. The sponsor said the essence of the proposed legislation was to curb the menace of environmental pollution and to facilitate the development of the power sector. The bill specifically states any person who imports generator unknowingly sells generators shall be guilty of an offense and be liable on conviction to be sentenced to imprisonment for a term not less than 10 years. The bill, however, excluded importers and sellers of generators meant to power essential services. The exemption includes generators meant to serve medical purposes in hospitals and nursing homes and health care facilities. Airports, railway stations, elevators, escalators, research institutions and such facilities that require 24 hours electric power supply are also exempted. The Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry, however, said the promoter of the bill did not capture the reality of the power situation in the country. Thus, it described the proposition as unrealistic. The Director General, LCCI, Dr. Muda Yusuf, speaking to one of our correspondents, noted that the heavy dependence on, on, by Nigerians on generators for electricity was a direct consequence of the failure of the power sector. He said, power shortage was the biggest challenge facing Nigeria as a country, as it was taking a huge toll on businesses as well as on the welfare of the people. Yusuf said, what Nigerians expected from the lawmakers was a proposal on how to urgently fix the, power, the problem of power and not restriction of generator import. He said, the proposition is not a realistic one. It does not show that its promoter is in touch with the reality of the power situation. Is it the fault of Nigerians that they have to rely on generators for power supply? Yusuf added that the heavy dependence on generators was a direct consequence of the failure of the power sector. Nigerians have, and other eminent people have actually reacted to this particular bill, saying that bill to ban generators inimical to national development. The Nigerians, Nigerian Employers Consultative Association, NECA, on Thursday said the Senate bill banning importation of generators would be inimical to the quality of lives of Nigerians and national development as a whole. NECA's Director General, Mr. Toad Timothy Olawale, who made this known in Lagos, said that small and medium-sized businesses will be killed as almost all of them use generators in the operation of their businesses. Olawale spoke while reacting to a bill for an act to criminalize the importation, selling, and usage of generators by Nigerians. It was gathered in reports that the bill scaled the first reading on the floor of the Senate on March 11, 2020. The bill sponsored by Senator Birmar Enagi from Niger State prescribes 10-year jail term for importers and sellers of generators. Olawale said it is not gainsaying that the nation is faced with serious energy challenges which predates the privatization of the power sector. While we agree with the imperative to protect Nigerians from environmental pollution and associated risk, we affirm that criminalizing the importation and usage of generators is a crude and non ingenious way to deal with a serious national issue. 
According to the International Monetary Fund, lack of access to electricity and unreliable power supply are key constraints to doing business in Nigeria. The IMF estimated the annual economic loss at about $29 billion. A knee-jerk ban on the sale and use of generators without resolving the challenges in the power sector will further compound the challenges faced by businesses. The Director General said that currently the power sector lacked enough infrastructural facilities to guarantee power generation and efficient distribution by the distribution companies. He therefore called for the legislation to focus on ensuring improved infrastructural development that would facilitate efficient distribution of power to the offices and homes of Nigerians. Government should focus on putting in place policies that will help in accelerating growth of the sector to make the importation and use of generators unattractive. It should also promote and encourage the use of alternative clean energy sources. A more strategic approach to national development will fast track the industrialization and development of our nation. Nigerians should not be punished for the ineffectiveness and policy inconsistencies of successive governments, Olawale said. Guys, you've heard what... Uh, People are saying there are reactions of so many people concerning the issue of a bill that it was read on the floor of the Senate to ban the use of generator. The issue is not banning generator. We quite understand the issue of pollution and all what have you. But it has not been today. Today is not the first day that the issue of pollution has by generators has actually been. It's been for over years. So the question to be asked is what are the measures that the government has put in place to even make the use of generator unattractive to people at home or people in their homes. You can't just wake up and decide to criminalize the use of generator. How do people, you know, generate power? It is very important. People need power day in, day out. They need power at almost every interval. So, and it is not enough. What the, what the power that... You you know, it's been distributed to homes and offices and it's not enough. Some places don't even have electricity supply. While some that have do not enjoy it for more than three hours, some two hours or some even less in the whole day of 24 hours. So how do you expect that these people live their, their quality life? So the issue is not about criminalizing the use of generators. It's actually making alternative um, arrangements so that the use of generators would be very, 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 very unattractive to the people and to the masses. Nobody actually wants stress. Nobody wants to, you know, the noise, the pollution, and all what have you that the generator usage, you know, actually brings. But if it cannot be handled, if there is no alternative means, then people are left with no choice than to go for the only available alternative, which is the use of generator to actually generate power. So, until the government has done their bit in ensuring that the country and everybody enjoys power supply, full power supply, 24-7, that is when they can talk about criminalizing the use of generator. Even in Abuja, where the president lives, even Abuja, where he stays, how many times can they boast of 24 hours power supply? So, you can see that this bill is just a... It is an imagination of the sponsor. A good one if the government has actually done their bid. But because the government has not done what they ought to do, then the bill in itself is flawed and should be thrown aside until when power generation in the country has come to a level whereby it is steady and it can be trusted. Regardless or else, then the bill should be thrown into the garbage where it belong as of today. So guys, you can't criminalize generator usage because you didn't buy it for people. People spended their hard-earned money, bought generators to use, you know, to generate power for supply for themselves when the government fails and you want to criminalize it. It doesn't work that way and it will not work. So guys, what are your thoughts on this particular news story?
what do you think kindly drop out the comment section to let's know what your thoughts are on this particular news story don't forget to subscribe to this channel don't forget to as well also uh, hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever a new story is posted thank you so much guys welcome on board and i'll see you on the other news